Portland's most watched television station. Thank you very much, everybody. The latest sex scandal in Washington has everybody talking about what the president did, if anything, who he did it with, and the fact that through thick and thin, Hillary Clinton has chosen to stand by her man. And that's our theme, standing by your man. Last year, one of the biggest sex scandals involved sportscaster Marv Albert, and we're going to talk to the woman who was married to Marv for 26 years. But first, to get this started in the right way, we have the person who is at the root of this whole presidential stand-by-your-man issue. It's not the president. It's not an intern. We have the superstar who co-wrote and sings the hit song that's been in the middle of this whole controversy, Stand By Your Man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first lady of country music, Tammy Wynette. Tammy, nice to have you with us from Nashville. It's good to be there. Thank you. You did this song 30 years ago. Yes, this song just seems never to go away, thank goodness. I'm, uh, I'm glad. I know that. And, and uh, it, it, I guess because of what's happening in the White House and the way you were involved with this some uh, five or six years ago, it, it's come up again. Why do you think all of this attention? Uh, well, I don't know. You know, when this first started, uh, my husband and I were, were lying in bed one night watching television, and all of a sudden uh, I hear Hillary uh, Clinton say, I'm not uh, standing by my man like some little old woman like Tammy Wynette. And I come up out of the bed and I said, what? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> and I, I told my husband, I said, I didn't get asked to be dragged in this thing. But uh, it, it really bothered me. And my husband said, well, uh, just, you know, it's okay. And then I, I started getting, he said, but she's going to have to apologize. And, you know, we were we were just all uh, aggravated about it and and then she kept trying to call she found out that i had heard what she said and and she kept trying to call and i wouldn't answer the phone <laughs> and all of a sudden did you really i mean you let the phone ring you wouldn't answer it oh i did i would not answer it i was so <laughs> mad i was so <laughs> aggravated and finally my housekeeper said uh Bert Reynolds is on the phone for you, Tammy. And I said, okay. So Bert and I have been friends for 30 years. So I, I went in and, and he said, Tammy, Hillary is trying to call you. Please, for God's sake, answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. So I answered the phone and she said, I'm really, really sorry. But she said, you know, they were throwing questions at me so fast. And she said, I was just trying to, to uh, uh, answer as quick as I could. And, and she said... I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really sorry for what, I, for what I said. And I said, well, I thought you were standing by him. That's what I thought you were doing was standing by your man. So uh, she laughed and apologized. And, and the song, After 30 Years, is, uh, has been released again. And I know. It's coming out again, isn't it? It is coming out again. And I'm, I'm just really happy. I'm thankful to everybody that, that likes the song. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just thankful. Well, let's talk about some misconceptions about the song. Because a lot of people think, and, and maybe those who were involved in the feminist movement and everything else, thought you were thinking about when you were singing that song and writing that song, that uh, a woman who uh, caught uh, her man cheating should stand by him. And that wasn't your intent at all. No, no, no. That that was not the intention of the song at all. The song was just a pretty love song. I mean, I'd like to hear, uh, instead of stand by your man, stand by your woman. You know, that would be great for me. But it does not say be a doormat for anybody, because I definitely do not believe in that. I've raised five girls, and believe me, uh, I believe in, in equal rights. What is and that one, the, the, isn't there one phrase in the song that gave people that feeling that that's, that may be what... Uh, the song meant, was meant to be? Yeah, there's a line that says, if you love him, you'll forgive him. After all, he's just a man. Uh, well, he is just a man. And uh, that, to me, is, is, is just a way of saying, you know, if, if you love him, you will forgive him, you know. But, but you have, uh, you, you've kind of drawn up your own top ten list of 
when not to stand by your man? Well, uh, I don't think you should uh, be a doormat for any man, I, I don't think. And I, I hate this uh, uh, spouse uh, abuse. Uh, there's just a lot, of, a lot of reasons. Well, the things that you mentioned are, uh, one, infidelity. You shouldn't stand by your man if infidelity is involved. No, absolutely not. I mean, uh, you know, if you love him, you'll forgive him, yes. Uh, that is the a line that's in the song that, that means, means everything to me in that song, I mean, because it is uh, just a pretty love song. And uh, the, other, the, other, uh, the other things that you mentioned on, the, on your list, uh, uh, if a man doesn't think a woman should have a career, that's not, you shouldn't stand by your man there. If alcoholism, uh, alcoholism is involved, you shouldn't stand by your man there. You fear you'll lose your friends if you split. You shouldn't, you shouldn't stand by your man then. If you've fallen for somebody else, you sh if he's fallen for somebody else, you shouldn't. If he hits his wife, if he's mean to his kids, uh, if he's a, a work-shy slob who won't tidy up after himself while you're bringing in the cash. <laughs> I, guess, uh, that, I like that one. Yeah, I bet. Has that happened to you? Um, uh, several. Yeah, several of those uh, have happened to me. Uh, I, was, uh, I went through uh, spousal abuse. Uh, when uh, I was married to uh, George Jones. George jo that, that marriage was a turbulent marriage, to say the least. It was, you know, but, but it was also uh, good, too, in many, many ways, you know, because I have a tendency when, when I'm asked about that to say only the negative things, and I don't want that to be the case, because there were a lot of, of, of good times, too. And, and George is a wonderful man and a wonderful singer, and he's the, uh, he's the father of my daughter, Georgette, so uh, uh, there's a lot of good times that were there, too. They're just not talked about like the bad times were. Talking about standing by your man, tell me about how you've been able to stand by your man for the last 20 years. First of all, he's your manager. That's, that automatically uh, <laughs> throws a roadblock or two in, into things. But uh, you've been married now for 20 years. Uh, we've, we have been married for 20 years. And I, I think it, it took Richie to make me uh, listen. He will, if we get in an argument about something or we disagree about something, he'll say, you're going to talk to me about this because I, I'm stubborn, Maury. I'm terrible. And I know that. <laughs> I know that's one of my uh, bad uh, things about me, but I don't want to talk. You know, I just want to just, just hush and just silent treatment. Oh, give him the silent treatment. That's what I, I <laughs> I'll do that. And he'll say, we're going to talk this out. We are going to sit down and you're going to tell me what you're mad about and what you're not mad about. So, he does that, and he's very, he knows the business from one end to the other. He, he, he's not jealous of me in any way, and uh, it's just been a, a, a good marriage. It's been wonderful. Well, stay with us, Tammy, because maybe you can be some help here, because we're going to talk not only uh, to some of those who uh, have to decide whether they should stand by their man or not, but when we come back, we're going to talk to a woman, and I'm sure you've read about this. She didn't stand by her man when she found out that he was unfaithful, but she did stand by him when he was involved in a very ugly national sex scandal. Years later, we're going to talk to the woman who was married to sportscaster Marv Albert when we come back after this. Mm -hmm. 